in this uh, Friday edition of our uh, webinar series. This is Brett Holmes from Lead Nano, our marketing director and co-founder. And what we're going to walk through is a demo of the Lead Nano system. And we will walk through it from two perspectives. First, we're going to look at everything from your affiliates vantage point, uh, where we're going to explore uh, how your affiliates are going to get signed up to join your affiliate program, how they will get access to their unique referral link, everything that they need to promote their site, their product, track their own progress, and then uh, see how they're getting paid themselves. So that'll be the first uh, half of things. And then what we'll do is I'm going to take you into one of my only Dino accounts that I have running for uh, one of our sister companies. We'll take you through. I've got everything set up there so that you can kind of emulate uh, some of the uh, uh, initial setup that I've got going, help you get the most leverage out of your affiliate program, and also automate things to the uh, greatest extent that uh, we can for you as well. I am happy to take your questions throughout or afterwards. So go ahead and type in uh, any questions that you have into that go to webinar window and uh, we'll address your uh, thoughts, questions either on the fly or afterwards. So in terms of the amount of uh, things that I have for you, I will go for about 15 minutes. The rest of the time is yours if you'd like it. So go ahead and type in any questions that you do have into that go to webinar window. Uh, we'll hit them either on the fly or I'll uh, stick around afterwards. With that, we're going to go ahead and get rolling. What we're looking at here is the affiliate website uh, for the company I mentioned. So we're powering uh, this uh, affiliate dashboard through Lead Dino. So we've got our company colors in here, our logo. You can do the same with your affiliate website. So you can give it your own uh, company look and feel, get your own brand in there. This is where folks can get signed up uh, to join our program. And then as our affiliates sign up, what, they're, uh, what we do is we then pass them through uh, immediately to their affiliate dashboard. So the affiliate dashboard is unique to each affiliate, contains everything that he or she needs to promote our site and our product. So first and foremost, what each affiliate gets is a unique referral link. So they can copy and paste this link, put it anywhere that they like. So meaning on their, uh, if they have access to their own website or blog, they can post it there. Any emails that they send out um, in any of their social media accounts, uh, they will get credit for anyone who clicks through this link to our site. Um, that credit is reflected in real time for them underneath their progress. So I'm showing you the affiliate dashboard for Joan, one of our partners who has a blog. She's got a social media presence. So Joan is able to see that she has currently um, sent us to date 162 unique visitors. Um, out of those, 41 of them have signed up for our free trial. Uh, and six of them have purchased our product. Thanks to those purchases, Joan has earned some commissions. Uh, you can see she's earned $800 to date over here in the lower right, uh, thanks to being a part of our affiliate program. Uh, so I mentioned Joan can copy and paste her link anywhere, so it goes for her blog, email, newsletter, social media channels, or she's also able to just take advantage of our social media shortcuts. So for example, Joan can just click that Facebook button. What that will do is we'll, it will log her into Facebook, tease up this post, uh, which uh, she can then uh, share out to Facebook. Her friends and followers will see this come through their respective Facebook feeds. And then as they click through or tap through, um, Joan will get credit for those shares. Same idea. Uh, with our other shortcuts, so for Twitter, she clicks the, the tweet button. What this does, it logs her into Twitter, tees up this tweet, uh, which she can then uh, hit the tweet button, uh, share it to her friends and followers uh, who will see this come through their tweet streams. As they click through, tap through, Joan gets credit for those. All right. Uh, mentioned her website, so this is where she can grab other marketing materials for her website, so things such as banner ads, infographics, they all have her affiliate link embedded within here. Uh, so we've got the artwork for her, and then we also have the affiliate link embedded, so Joan can just copy and paste all this um, and then put it on her own website. She'll get credit for anyone who uh, clicks through here. So same for these banners. We've got uh, the artwork as well as her affiliate link embedded in, uh, in here. Uh, for affiliates who just signed up, we have an archive of previous affiliate newsletters here. This is a newsletter, uh, what it looks like in uh, the inbox of an affiliate. So when we send these out, we're not only posting them on the affiliate dashboard, but we're also emailing them directly to each affiliate. Uh, I'll take you through the creation of uh, the affiliate newsletters in a couple of minutes when we get into that affiliate manager side of things. Um, important thing here is that from the affiliate's perspective, um, they will uh, get credit for anyone who, um, uh, I'm sorry, these land directly in their inbox. They can track their credit uh, just by clicking through here, getting back to their affiliate dashboard. So the nice way to keep them um, engaged. 
um, send them a newsletter, let them know what's up, let them know what's new, uh, what kind of new stuff you have, and then uh, um, like to uh, always get them coming back to that affiliate dashboard. Nice way to um, get them sharing more um, of uh, get them sharing their link more in a pretty easy way. Two more things here on the dash. Let me show you our invite tab. This lets affiliates invite other prospective affiliates to join your program so they can do a little recruitment on your behalf. They can also create custom links that point to any page on your website. So that main link usually goes to the home page or some landing page you've got set up. Uh, custom links is a way that affiliates could link to, uh, say, a specific product page, subdomain, blog post, anywhere they want to send traffic to, and then they'll get credit for anyone who clicks through that link and ends up on, uh, on your website. All right, let's hop into Lead Dino itself. So I'm going to take you through where we set a lot of the stuff up in our content section. Uh, so the affiliate website that I just showed you from the affiliates perspective, this is where we can set it up uh, within Lead Dino itself. So the color scheme, uh, logo, and get all that stuff in here. If you want to require affiliate approval before they are granted access to your program, um, you can toggle this setting to on right here. This means that affiliates have to um, uh, get your approval before they're granted access to your program. You can also put your affiliate website on a custom domain, so you can use this uh, feature right here. Everything within the affiliate website is customizable, so you can update uh, the header and such here, get your own logo in there as I did, write your own introductory message, and not only text, but then we also insert uh, support, inserting images, links, uh, HTML, you can also get to in here. Um, we uh, also uh, allow for custom CSS. If you want to further style that page, you can do that. Uh, if you want to collect more information from your affiliates up front, you can add additional uh, affiliate fields right here. Those will go on that initial sign-up page here. Uh, well, let's uh, keep going on the content. So that Facebook post that I showed you, this is where affiliates can write it. So this is where they will give uh, that post a title the body. You'll actually write this for them so this gives them a head start so that when they click the Facebook button um, they don't have to sit there and think about what they want to write. They can just type, uh, just hit that Facebook uh, post button. They don't even have to type anything so a couple clicks they can be sharing their link um, out there. So nice for you to write this initially out of the gate and then uh, I like to keep the content fresh about every month or so. It doesn't take a ton of time uh, to do it uh, but a nice touch gives our affiliates something new, unique uh, that they can share on their end. And then the banners, you get those in by going to add content, add banners to get the banners uh, uploaded right here. Pop through a few of our tools here. So the affiliate newsletter I showed you from the affiliates perspective. So here's where you can write it uh, within Leadano. So you can use our email editor, uh, preview it, send it out, send out a test email. We'll do the delivery. We've got your affiliates email addresses in the system already. So we'll do the delivery for you into their uh, email inbox. You'll just pop in here and write this. I think once a month is a good habit to get into. A uh, couple of uh, tips that I found helpful. I like to time our affiliate payouts um, with, uh, where I like to time the newsletter with affiliate payouts. I find that's always a nice way to get everyone's attention. Um, and then I also kind of like to give them the inside scoop on something new or unique to share. So that gives them, uh, kind of inspires them to get back to their affiliate dashboard, get into the new social media messaging um, if possible from there. We can also fire off automated emails based on certain events. So, for example, when a new affiliate signs up with us, we can send them this welcome email, which gives them their affiliate link, and then also the link into their affiliate dashboard, so everything that uh, he or she needs to get up and running. Um, so just a one-click link that will log them in automatically. We can also send them weekly status emails to let them know how they did for the week, so the number of visits, leads, and purchases. We can uh, toss these in an email for them. We can also let them know every time they get credit for, uh, for say, a new purchase. Uh, send them an email that looks like this um, and give them uh, whatever details you want. We've got a um, template in here. If you want to let them know exactly who it was who bought as a result of the referral, you can do that too. All right, let's get into affiliate recruitment. So favorite uh, popular topic for many folks, uh, important one. So how are we going to recruit affiliates? So we've got two angles here. Our affiliate invitation email is going to um, go out to your new customers as they buy from you and then uh, reach out to them, invite them to join your affiliate program. So a nice way to grow your program organically, um, get those current customers as a way to get the new customers as they're buying from you um, into your program at a time when they're uh, most enthusiastic about 
what uh, what you're offering. So I think you'd be real happy with the uptick you'll get as a result of just a simple email like this. We've got it already pretty much ready to go. Just enable it, um, make any tweaks to assign your name if you want to adjust anything, and then you'll be off and uh, off and running here. We also have an affiliate network. So outside of your current base sphere of influence, uh, we can get you in front of folks in our network, and we'd love to have you a part of it. Uh, all you need to do is from the tools menu within Lead Dino, connect to ECA. This means connect to ecommerceaffiliates.com. So this will get you um, set up in the network. We'll get you a profile talking about your product, talking about your affiliate program, get all the good details in here. And then affiliates can click, uh, can apply with a single click. If you've got auto access on, they'll be right in their affiliate dashboard and they'll be able to start sharing uh, your link on the, their social media accounts and such right away. So a nice benefit here. You can also, um, from here, you can also reach out to prospective affiliates yourself. So we've got an affiliate recruitment tool here, so you can pop in and invite prospective affiliates uh, to join your program right here as well. So a nice option for you um, to do some uh, uh, affiliate outreach here to folks you probably wouldn't otherwise have had access to, and these are folks who are, um, you know, promoting products in your uh, in your niche in your industry as well. All right, let's get into affiliate payouts, and then we can get into questions. I know I got a couple of questions that pop that have been uh, popping in as we've been talking, so uh, we'll get to those in uh, about a minute here. Let me show you our payouts when it's time for me to pay my affiliates uh, through the end of November. What I'll do is I'll just clock through the end of November here. I'll hit the PayPal button to tee up a PayPal payment from me out to uh, Lori here, for example, for the amount that I owe her, uh, and then that will uh, settle us up here. Uh, if I want to pay her with a check, I would uh, just cut her a check and then just mark her off as manually paid. We do have PayPal mass pay, so if you want to pay a bunch of people at once or everyone all at once using PayPal mass pay, uh, that is an option for you. Dwala or Coinbase are also uh, electronic payment options that we have uh, integrations with here with at Lead Dino as well. Okay, let's uh, get into your questions here. So I do have a few. Um, uh, when a uh, question on Facebook sharing, we're creating a Facebook share, could I leave the title body blank to share the URL to pull from uh, landing page open graph or better looking Facebook post? Yeah, that should be fine. So uh, just so everyone knows what that question is from our content section. Facebook posts, uh, you could leave these uh, blank, that should be fine, and just uh, the URL would just be the basic one. Uh, referral links using a pound code rather than a question mark, is one better than the other? Um, not really, not that I found. Uh, I don't think there's a, a big difference between a pound or a question mark. Uh, taxes. So with taxes, what you'll want to do um, is see what PayPal reports. Some PayPal uh, supposedly reports some things to the IRS, but what you'll want to do for tax reasons, um, that's why I actually do individual payments because in my own uh, QuickBooks account, uh, we do, um, I will track affiliate payments and then um, Anyone over 600 bucks, you're probably going to owe a 1099 to. So you're going to want to have that person in your QuickBooks account. So that'd be my advice: is to pay from your PayPal account. I do it individually just so I can track what affiliates have been paid what. So that at the end of the year, uh, we can uh, uh, issue them 1099s. And then on affiliate uh, password creation, they can create a password here if they forgot or if they didn't uh, set one up. Um, just using this shortcut here. Um, I, I've got one here, I guess, so uh, that just kind of passed me through. But the other thing is that the uh, affiliate dashboard, it's a one-click link, and then it will remember them. So all they need to do is bookmark that page, and they'll be good to go. Um, how do I add the enrollment sign-up on my website, or can I only recruit uh, via email? So you can link to your website to this page. I would recommend doing that, linking to your affiliate website from your own website. We also have a form you can embed. It is going to be, we just moved it around. Let me see if I can find it for you. Um, we have a form that you can embed somewhere, and I don't remember. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in the tools. Affiliate invitation form. 
That's right. Okay. So you can just copy and paste this code here, and then this would let you do a, a sign up form directly from your website as well. So you could do both. You could link to your affiliate website here, uh, and then you could do a little uh, form on your site as well. Okay, I'll give you a few more seconds to type in any other questions you have. Uh, we can uh, talk about anything you've got. Let me show you our uh, contact info. So live chat phone email, we do it six days a week, Sunday through Friday. That includes holidays as well, so we'll have folks online during the holiday season. Live chat lower right here on Lead Dino, uh, lower right also. Uh, within Lead Dino itself. Any questions you got about this webinar, uh, any emails you got from this webinar will go back to me. So if you have any questions, um, we can circle back on anything you want one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, happy to do that. Otherwise, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, one, one question. Some uh, question on the guide. So if there's a specific guide you're looking for, uh, let me know and we can get you uh, um, the most up-to-date version uh, on that one uh, on the website. Uh, so just let us know on that. Um, we can take that one offline. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Hope it was helpful. So stay in touch. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, if there's anything we can uh, help you out with. Hope everyone has a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend. Uh, keep us posted. Hope to talk to you soon. And then uh, have a great rest of uh, your weekend and next week as well.